this unit right here needs to be replaced. We're gonna replace it, but we're not gonna replace it with a package heat pump. We're gonna replace it with mini splits. And why? This customer got approved for financing. I think it was $15,000 or $20,000 they got approved for. And this package unit would only cost around $6,200, $6,000, something like that for a new package heat pump installed. But they want new duct work. But when I checked the crawl space, there was no room to put ductwork in the crawl space and you need to make sure that you got enough room to actually install the ductwork and then be able to get to the other side. So if you can't even crawl underneath the duct, then it's a no-no. I wanna make sure that I have enough room for ductwork and if I don't and I can't put it in the attic area, then I'm gonna go with mini splits. Let me show you the crawl space. The old Linux and only one of the heaters is working. And here is the crawl space. Let's take a look. Oh, man. Oh, that's beautiful. So, as you can see, there is no room. No room. There's probably about a foot, a foot and a half at the most. And that's just not going to work. Not going to put my guys underneath here in this crawl space. Not that we haven't done it a hundred times, it's just now I think about what they could do with that money that they're getting from the finance company. And I think we should install something more efficient. So I'm gonna show them some pictures, see if they would want mini splits, talk to them about the operation, make sure they understand what it is and how it works. And then they'll finance it. They'll get 10 years on the parts We'll include a labor plan, so 10 years on the labor. So for the 10 years that they finance, if they do have an issue, then they won't have to pay for a service call, which is nice. I'll show you the after when we get rid of this package unit. So they like the idea of the mini splits, so I'm gonna get a price for them today. If everything's in stock, then we'll order it and we'll probably get it installed in the next couple weeks. And I actually told them that we could do two outdoor units. They've got a kitchen, a living dining room area that's their biggest area and I could install a smaller outdoor unit and take care of that area with one unit and then on the other side of the house I can install another outdoor unit with three for the bedrooms there's three bedrooms so that way if one mini split ever goes down then they've got another one so it's like a backup so they like that and they like the fact that it's efficient they like the fact that they're getting rid of the duct work and you know the heat is in each one of those air handlers or the cooling is in each one of those air handlers and just direct heat, direct cooling instead of going through that ductwork. So they like that. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do two mini split systems on this house just because don't wanna have to run line sets from one side of the house to the other. It's just a good idea plus the backup, you know, redundancy, I like that as well. All right, so one mini split on this side of the house, probably an 18K. And then on the other side of the house, let me take a look. So that over there would be a single zone. This over here would be a multi-zone. I'd have three indoor air handlers for the bedrooms. Got one bedroom here. And then we've got one bedroom there. So bedroom there, bedroom there, and then bedroom here. So I'll put another mini split right here and it'll be a multi-zone. So that is the plan. Excellent. This is a two ton package heat pump. Does about 1200 square foot. We are gonna install a little bit more than that as far as tonnage, because we need enough BTUs to support the indoor heads. And we're not gonna do it with just one split system, mini split system, we're gonna do it with two. Yay, let's see how this turns out. Back on site to show you some progress for this mini split project, and wanna show you some things that we're doing to make sure that the customer stays warm and stays happy. Let me show you some progress. So before we take out this package unit and duct work, we wanna get some work done, we wanna get all of the heads inside mounted that way we don't have as much work to do to get this multi-zone mini split it's going to be on this side this outdoor unit is going to be on this side of the house uh working so that's one head this is another wall mount air handler and we've got one more that's going to be over here right there see so that's the three wall mount air handlers they're all 7,000 BTU and they're going to go to a two-ton outdoor unit now let me show you the other side 
of the house and show you what we did. So right here is a 18K single zone. This is the outdoor unit. Got our disconnect, our line hide cover. And if you have less than 10 foot of line sets, we always do a loop to make sure we reduce the amount of noise. So there is a hole cover, line hide cover. Got the drain, disconnect. We've already got this unit on and running. And I wanted to have this unit installed in the main living area first. That way they can have heat before we take out that package heat pump. Now I'm going to show you the inside, show you those wall mounts in the bedrooms, and then the wall mount that goes to this 18K outdoor unit. Just in case you're not sure about doing a loop for the line sets and the reasoning behind us doing it, this is from the installation manual for that 18K single zone. You see 18 right here. Then you see minimum 9.8 feet, so 10 foot. If you don't have a minimum of 10 foot, it says right here, make at least one round to reduce noise and vibration. So that's the reason we're doing that. Take a minute, pause the video, go check out Samsung HVAC uh, downloads and look at the installation manual for that 18K single zone. Here's one bedroom, here's one 7K bed. So this is another 7K wall mount air handler in another bedroom. Here's another bedroom. This is the third wall mount air handler. Wind free. Love it. All right, let's go check out the 18K. This is the single zone 18,000 BTU and it's already running and it's heating. So this is the main living area. So far, we've got a lot of progress made and the homeowners are very happy. So they're so happy. They said it's already so warm in there from that 18,000 BTU mini split. And the next process of the install is going to be getting some more line sets installed for these indoor heads and probably running those close to where the outdoor unit's gonna be. Probably installing some line hide and some covers. And then we are going to tear out the old package heat pump and duct work and get ready to install the outdoor unit for those indoor wall mount air handlers back on site let me show you the final update for this project pretty happy with the results customers very happy to have heat throughout the house got some line hide cover line hide cover outdoor unit this is a two-ton free joint multi so we've got three pipe connections coming from the outdoor unit and going to each wall mount air handler We've got a cover that we made to cover the hole where the ductwork left the package unit and entered the home. Customer wanted to keep the package unit, so we just left it out here where they specified they wanted it left. So now, let's take a look at the other unit. Over here. Okay, so there's the other unit. And we've got the line sets tucked underneath here. It's nice and neat. We know how to use wire ties. We do not use duct tape. And then we got the drains just coming down here. And then of course you want to ask the homeowner if they want it run out a little bit. Some don't because maybe mowing or weed eating, they might hit it and damage the pipe. Looks good. Concrete pad for the outdoor unit. All right, let's go take a look inside. All right, so this is one wall mount air handler that goes to that outdoor unit that's a multi-zone outdoor unit let's go take a look at the other ones here's another unit doesn't seem to be much light in this bedroom so it's okay that's one unit must be shut off got another unit in the bedroom here all right all the units have wireless remote controllers just finished explaining the maintenance requirements for this equipment and how you have to clean the drains annually and also maintain the filters I'm going to register the warranty today, so they're going to have 10 years on the parts. Also, labor warranty included. Average cost is around $60 a year. Now, if they have a part failure, then the labor is going to be covered as well. One thing we got to change with this job, this wall mount air handler in this room was shut off. The customer explained to me why. 
She explained that she has breathing problems. If it gets too hot, it's hard for her to breathe. And she said that this unit, no matter what she set it for, it would overshoot temperature. It would overheat. I said, I've had this issue before. All I have to do is use an option code, use the SNET tool, and I can actually write an option for each indoor unit and make sure that when the heating mode is on, and the temperature satisfies that the actual fan will shut off and it won't keep blowing that hot air into the room because of course the coil is still hot. So I'm gonna take care of that. Something I thought was interesting that the customer told me when I got here, I asked them how the single zone was doing in the main living area and they said that before we had finished the other mini split install, the multi-zone equipment, that this unit was actually keeping the whole entire house warm. So it makes me think we could have probably done this job with one mini split, made this head super large, but you never know what insulation light is like in other rooms and windows. And when you have heat loss or infiltration, then that can really have an effect when it's really, really cold outside or really, really hot. So having those other units, I think was definitely a must, but it just makes you think could have got away with maybe one. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Let me know what you would have done differently with this job and uh, hope you're healthy, hope you're happy. I'm set up, I'm ready to write the option code for those wall mount air handlers. I've got a little cheater cord to power my computer. I've got the F1 and F2 communication wire hooked to the SNET converter tool. And I've got SNET Pro 2 ready. And then where do I get the option code? VRF coder. That's where I'm gonna get the code. All right, so to find the code, go to VRF coder, go to mini split option codes and other data. All right, there's the option code I need. How did I find it? I went to RECCAC FJM option codes. Make sure you have the right model number of unit. So that's my model number, that's my option code. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I'm gonna type that in and I'm gonna go ahead and option code all three ball mounts at the same time. Here's all three of my indoor units displayed. Now, now I'm gonna select all those units and go ahead and type in my option code. All right, this is VRF coder. Make sure that the code matches. Code matches. Make sure that I've selected all of the indoor units. If you don't know how to do this, check out the video in the link in the description. Right option. Ready to download, success. Ready to download and success. And success, you should hear the indoor units beep. Boom, there we go. See with the two ton unit, the 24, you can do up to three indoor units. We got three vapor connections. We got three liquid line connections. So they did a really good job on this one. I'll also keep an extra EEPROM with me in my computer bag, just in case I have a damaged EEPROM. All right. If you don't understand anything about what I was doing with the computer and using SNET, I've got a bunch of videos on my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians, to show you how to option code equipment, to show you what the SNET converter tool is, to show you what the SNET program looks like and how to use it. And it's a great tool for troubleshooting Samsung mini splits. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, put those in the comments because questions can lead to content. Before you leave, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. If you need help with your project, you need tech support, you need advice, go check out my membership levels. There is the ability to get my email by joining level one. There's the ability to see all my members only videos, level three. If you need my phone number, level four. Go check out those levels. Become a member by clicking the join button. Let me know in the comments you joined and I'll give you my email and that'll lead to contact with me. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.